Hello everyone and welcome to another aviation video review by ThePilotReport.com. My name is Len and today I'm going to be talking about Logbook Pro, the electronic aviation logbook software. The Logbook Pro allows you to log your flights into the computer and it doesn't matter whether you're working for the FAA under JAA or CAA certificates. It uh, allows you to, to print out 60 plus report templates it's easy flight logging, tracks your certificates, ratings, currency, and a whole bunch more, and it does provide you with a simple one-click 8710 creation, one of my favorite features, in fact. It works with both 121 and 135 duty limits. It contains error checking based on smart FAR software, and it is for PC only, so my Mac friends, keep a lookout. We'll have something coming for you in the near future. And it is compatible on Vista. You get a free trial for full usage up to your first 50 flight entries. And then after that, the price starts at only $69.95. So let's take a look at the software. So here we are inside a Logbook Pro. Now I've been using Logbook Pro primarily as a backup to my paper logbook for the last five years. So when I go flying, I actually put a logbook entry into my paper logbook and then make a duplicate entry here into Logbook Pro. Now before you get started, if you want the categories of aircraft uh, such as uh, uh, complex, anything else like that, high performance, you're going to have to set the aircraft up in the program before you get started so everything registers properly. So you'll start over at the options section and you're going to click on the aircraft tab and you'll notice that mine is pre-populated with some of the aircraft that I've already flown. So your options are um, when adding a new aircraft basically it wants to know what category it is, what class it is, uh, what type of power it is, if it's complex, simulator, if their type rating is required, if it's high performance, greater than 12,500 pounds, if it's got retractable landing gear, a tailwheel, and you can even put in a cost per hour, which is useful down the line when we get to the reports section. Now, the actual logbook itself, um, you have two options here. You have a spreadsheet option, and you also have a window style. Now the window style is, uh, you know, simply enter the information in and you'll see here because of the fact that we set up aircraft uh, earlier on under the options section, all the different models of aircraft will be in this drop down menu. And if you've flown any multiple, um, multiple aircraft, all, this, all the types with their tail numbers will be pre-populated here as well. So um, this is a nice way to enter it, your flights into the program. Now that's one method or you can use the spreadsheet method and basically you just tab from left to right, enter the information requested and uh, fill out the flight as as uh, as intended. The uh, currency option is where you want to set up your currency specifications. So in particular uh, you'll see over here on the right hand side under approaches I have it set up to track my approaches to make sure that I've done six within our, um, yeah, six approaches within the last six months and any category and type of aircraft. If I recall correctly, in the beginning when I started using this application, I had to actually manually enter all this information in there. So, for example, you can tell the computer that if you do three night landings then you want it to register that as your night currency and qualify you for day currency so you have just have to make those settings in here before the computer can track all that stuff going on getting into the actual reports section you've got all kinds of options as far as um, aircraft configuration total summary I'll just show you this one briefly and I always pick all data unless um, unless you're looking for a certain date range I generally go with all data so what this will do will pull up every type of aircraft that you've ever flown and it's going to give you a breakdown of the hours in each aircraft so 95 hours in a 152 425 hours in a 172 um, you know looking down 100 and 36 hours in a Piper Warrior, etc., etc. So 
This will give you an idea of what kind of time you have in each uh, each type of aircraft. Now coming over to currency, you'll see when I click on currency, because of those settings that we made previously, you'll see that anything that's red means that it's expired. and Anything that's green means that it's still current. One of the nice things is it will tell you when that currency was last met, and it's going to give you a date and when it's estimated to expire. So as you continue to make entries into your logbook over time, these dates will continue moving forward unless you see as in the example I've provided here you've got you've got a bunch of red and I have a bunch of red entries here meaning that my tail whale and VFR and IFR have expired under flight log I usually go to my flight log summary and grand totals now there's all kinds of options here by aircraft aircraft type category class uh, you can just show uh, approach summaries aircraft history uh, even the route history, specific routes that you've flown, etc. So, uh, you know, if you're just looking for total grand totals for your flight log summary, you just come to grand totals. We'll select all data. And it's going to give me a breakdown here of, you know, 1,655 flights, a little bit under 3,300 hours of flight time. Breaks it down day, night, cross country, solo, PIC, and you get the idea. The uh, the big kicker with the options under miscellaneous, this is the nicest one of them all, is the 8710. Now, Logbook Pro does a really nice job of keeping track of your flights so that you can go ahead and do a one-click 8710. Now, the top of the form here is really not that important. It's pretty standard. We all know how to fill one of those out. But the nice part here, as I scroll down to show you, is right there, the record of pilot time. Everything is pre-populated for you. No more going through the logbook, adding up this, that, and the other, and getting, you know, I always get confused doing this. This is probably the number one favorite function I have of Logbook Pro. So it makes it really easy. You just fill out the boxes. The flight time is already pre-populated. You print it off and you go on your way. It's fantastic. Now for those of you who might be viewing this video outside of our website or anyone interested in checking out the software, visit thepilotreport.com forward slash logbook pro. Now it's certainly been a real pleasure making this review video for you today. And if you're interested in any of our other aviation product reviews or demonstrations, you can visit us specifically at thepilotreport.com. This is Len wishing you clear skies and calm winds. Take care, everybody.